The first book of this month was Dread Nation by Justine Ireland. And oh my gosh, spoilers ahead. It was amazing. So basically the story is about a girl named Jane McKean who was born into slavery a couple of days after Gettysburg where something strange happens. Our history books, you know, talk about that being the turning point of the Civil War. Well, in this case, it was quite the turning point because Dead Rose. It's so interesting. So after the Battle of Gettysburg, all across the all across the world, the Get Dead Rose. And so the story picks up when Jane's about 16 and they've instituted something called the Negro and Native American Reeducation Act, which is basically where they take um, black children and Native Americans and send them into schools where they're trained on how to kill zombies. And then they're sent out. The best job you could hope to get is an attendant. And the job of an attendant is basically to protect the lives and virtue of white women. And this is what the story is about. So it's really interesting seeing how she was able to tell a story that has so many fictional elements, but also kept um, all of the issues that you would st that we still had to face during the Civil War or after the Civil War. Um, uh, the issues of even though you're free, you're not free. Ways in which they would trick or like basically recreate slavery, but under a different name. So um, Jane and her companions in the story, again, I warned you about spoilers. Jane and her companions in the story, which would have been Catherine and Jackson, are off searching for Jackson's little sister, Lily. And so the story is about all the crazy that happens on their journey there and how cities just continue to fall to the undead um, and them trying to battle the dead while also dealing with segregation and trying to find ways uh, to find the little sister and stay safe. It's like crazy and amazing story. Um, I really like how that main character, Jane, is a darker skinned girl. Um, whereas the her counterpart in the story, which is Catherine, is passing. She's very light, very fair skinned, um, blue eyed. So she is, she's even able to play a white woman later in the story as part of the plot. So it's very interesting um, watching how, or listening to, because I bought the audiobook version, listening to how um, Catherine, what was happening with her because she's light passing and how much Jane hates her um, at basically at the very beginning, Jane hates her and the relationship they end up forming because they are battle bonded and they need each other to survive. And the difference of issues they have where they show up and people just instantly assume Jane's white or instantly assume Catherine's right and they see Jane and they ignore her and the difference of that or even the way that everybody, all the men are constantly fawning over, J uh, fawning over Catherine and Jane is just like, ugh. So like seeing the difference in how they would have treated someone who was passing versus someone who was dark. Um, and Jane is the definition of a like hero. She's got that hardcore, I'm out to do what's right sort of an attitude, though she has a very loose relationship with the truth. So it's a very interesting story and I definitely read it. Don't worry, I didn't give any major plot points away. I gave a, a couple of good tidbits though. So if you have not read Dread Nation, you should read Dread Nation. It's amazing.